Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Godzilla podcast. Yet another update when it comes to the Godzilla 2014 film. Not really a direct update, but still pretty, pretty close. And what I mean is by this, it looks like there was a little bit of shake-up today with regards to Legendary Pictures and some of their marketing gurus. There was a gentleman there who goes by the name Joel... Chiodi, I guess that's his last name, Chiodi, C-H-I-O-D-I, and he was their executive who was there for a while, it looks like, at Legendary Pictures. Now, what makes him in relation to the Godzilla film is that this was the guy, if you're wondering, uh, the whole uh, mess of marketing that was associated with Pacific Rim, this was the guy behind it. Well, he's no longer there with Legendary Pictures. Uh, according to the article that's listed on Hollywood Reporter, uh, he went actually to work for Paramount, I guess in their marketing uh, department somewhere over there. So again, uh, with regards to Pacific Rim and the marketing mess or the lack of marketing, everything that was essentially wrong with Pacific Rim, this was the guy that you could say was behind it all and with regards to that he was also working most likely with some of the Godzilla properties but now he's not there anymore so what does this mean for the upcoming Godzilla film it's hard to say yet because um, Legendary has replaced him uh, with someone named Emily Castell as his chief marketing officer and so it looks like she will be working with the remaining time period in terms of marketing the Godzilla 2014 film. Again, it's hard to say how this will affect the film because we don't know. I don't know her work. Um, I don't know what she's done in the past, really, uh, whether it's good or bad. So it's all up in the air right now. But looking from the outside in, considering how little marketing Pacific Rim had, again, um, as I mentioned in one of my other YouTube videos on why the Pacific Rim movie failed so bad at the American box office is because it became an all-exclusive club, one of those clubs where you had to have a special invite list just to see the thing, at least based on its marketing. It was so secretive for so long that it got so irritating that it got to the point where uh, Pacific Rim kept asking its audiences, are you interested? And audiences said no. So uh, that that's what can happen. That's what leads to this backfire when you have a situation where uh, you're marketing something to the people. You're trying to keep it secret to make sure that there's still some surprises left. But if you make it too secretive, you turn off the audience. And in this case, uh, this guy, Joel Chiodi, again, I believe that's his last name, has said, he was the executive who was instrumental in the marketing Pacific Rim, according to Hollywood Reporter. So again, uh, we'll get, wait and see how this approach later changes the next coming months for the Godzilla film. Will we see more stuff revealed? Will we see even less stuff revealed? Uh, I don't know. It, it's uh, All we have, of course, is the recently released teaser trailer. No indications yet that there's anything else that's going to be released anytime soon. So uh, it's all up in the air right now. But it's always fun to guess on these things. So, uh, But taking a far, far shot guess, I would say that this is a much better thing. Because, again, of the huge mess up that was with Pacific Rim. We don't really want that at all with Godzilla. We don't want audiences to once again be turned away by not even having a single shot of Godzilla in clear view before the film is released. So um, I highly suspect that there's going to be uh, either with the next trailer or with some other images, a full-on promotional shot of Godzilla. And that's something that uh, we'll see if that comes true. So, all right, everybody. Thanks. Care. Bye.